You are able to see my screen, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, this is a a, pay, a payment uh, process request, sir. Mm -hmm. So payment process request. You have to select the template, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. So you have done the setups, right? Yes, sir. I done. I did every setup. Okay. Now select uh, your template. So the, I just want to understand that it is a certification question, question as well, sir. Uh -huh. So if you have enabled payment approval, payment uh -huh. process uh -huh. at what stage PPR uh, will automatically triggered. This is one question. Uh -huh. And we have uh, one more question from this pay through date and pay from date. So I, do, I want to understand this thing, sir, actually. This things in this and uh, payment uh, processing options. So, so this okay. stay here. Payment processing option. You can see when you are selecting the payment uh, template, you are getting all these attributes, right? Payment attributes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This will come from your uh, payment process profile, right? This uh, when you are selecting the bank, this was when bank account. Uh, you yes. are attaching your uh, profile and document, right? Payment document. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Already I discussed the second uh, processing option. Apply credit up to zero amount. For example, go to that processing option. Uh, uh, okay, this one are the selection criteria, sir. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. There is apply credit up to zero amount payment. That means whenever one supplier has both credit memo and debit memo available. Okay, okay. okay sir, yeah. For example, there is the one invoice 1000 and there are two credit memo 500, 500, right? Yeah, okay, sir. Yes, sir. So, what is the amount you have to pay? Nothing, right? Yeah, nothing. But if you enable the payment process, like if you select that supplier for payment, then okay. you have to check that box so that uh, the credit memo will apply to the invoice. Mm -hmm. So okay. 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 So, so if it yeah, if it if it is becomes zero to credit memos or debit memos, so we have to enable this thing. Yeah. Otherwise, it will not uh, go ahead with our payment because it's a zero amount, right? It will yeah, not yes, apply sir. the credit memo to the invoice. Okay. So this checkbox so, if you enable now, whatever okay. credit memo for that supplier, it will. Apply to that invoice, whatever available invoice, and we'll okay. make it zero. So if you if we are not enable this, if it becomes zero when we are applying right now, it won't uh, take that. It won't take, and in other case, like uh, even it will not uh, select that invoice also. Select okay. that supplier. Okay. Why? Because we don't have to pay anything to that supplier. We have 1,000 uh -huh. invoice and uh, two credit memo is 500, 500. So, nil amount, okay. the amount is zero. Yeah, yes, sir. If you enable this box, then this invoice will be selected and you will have to make a zero payment. And for making zero payment, again, you have to enable the supplier bank account for the zero payment. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. So, things sir, what is this review? Review oh, installment. From, from so, this bank. is also. What I was telling you that whenever you are selecting the installment, if you enable that checkbox, then the payment batch process will stop for review. Okay. If if uh, my payment has three installments, then it will go for build payment. The next step. So review installment means the first step is selection criteria, right? You are selecting the payment. Yeah. Yes, sir. When you submit, uh, but, uh, it will trigger the selection. Payment will be selected for. Uh, sorry, invoice will be selected for payment, right? Yeah, yes, sir. 
So if you enable this checkbox, review installment, then the process will stop here. It will not go further. So, okay, if I have a three installments, it will... Uh, uh, whatever so installment, in installment means your uh, payment, uh, whatever you are paying for that supplier. Okay, okay. whatever yeah. installment selected for payment, that okay. will be stopped here for the process will stop here for your review. Like how many invoices selected for that supplier or multiple supplier, whatever. So, so it, he, it, I'll, I'll, I'll say, sir. So, one supplier, I have only one invoice. It has a three installments. So, uh, will it take one, one installment or will it take uh, all the installments? Why it will uh, uh, give the three installments? So, if you are paying, uh, installment has date, right? If the date is not due for that installment, it will not select. Achha. Installment Achha. means installment Achha. means for that particular. Uh, it's not about one supplier or to, or one invoice. It can be for multiple supplier, multiple invoices. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's yes, not sir. Uh, like one invoice with multiple invoices. It can be multiple invoice for multiple supplier. So, okay, based for on the supplier, data, for any supplier, uh, suppose you don't, there are five invoice selected and you don't want to pay for uh, one specific invoice, you can remove from that batch. Okay, from uh, review proposed payments. No, review installment and review proposed payment. Yeah, you have to enable that. So, for this, uh, do I need to enable anywhere, sir? Only this is the. Story. Yeah, you can, uh, you can enable that review installment. Okay, so for uh, for due date, how many installments left? It will take. It will consider it will those take, installments. Yeah. It will take. Uh, this one is a review proposed payments means. Proposed payment means one new batch is selected. How many invoices okay. uh, selected for proposed payment? Like the invoices you uh, ask for the selection criteria. How many invoices selected? And what okay. so you are paying for that invoice? Okay, so yeah, yeah, in that case, we can remove or we can able to add. You can uh, remove invoice, you can remove the, change the amount also. Like, for example, one invoice amount 10,000, but you have to pay 5,000. So that amount also you can change in the review stage. Okay. So because this, the, this one? This, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. is pay, create a payment file immediately. Once the uh, payment process is uh, completed, if you don't enable this, it will not create, generate that file, payment file. You have EFT file, right? EFT uh -huh, file, uh -huh, yes. check payment file. So if you enable this checkbox only, then the file will be created immediately. Otherwise, you have to run that program again, separately. Okay. The payment file, it so will uh, generate for transmission, right? Whether it's a manual payment yeah. or check payment. To bank uh -huh. people, electronic payment, it will uh, generate the file and transmit, right? Uh -huh. Yes. If you don't enable checkbox, then uh, again it will the status will be waiting for payment file generation. You will get that status. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Sir, what is this uh, validation failure handling? Validation fa failure handling means if uh, at uh, payment format level, if you have any uh, user defined validation. For example, I'll show you, just uh, um, go to another tab, set up, I'll show you. Go to setup and maintenance. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Select financial. Go to payment format. Payment, select payment. Ah, one format. Manage format, just uh, maybe it will come. Just format, only format. Yeah. yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and it's selected for payments. Payment, right? only payment, yeah. Okay. So select any format here, payment format, any predefined format. Outbound, select outbound. 
and here select a bank statement change it to payment disbursement format as select the select type format type or select the format type okay okay so yeah no no not here bank statement okay, okay, format na yeah select payment disbursement file format ah uh, okay now select outbound only outbound okay yeah uh, so, fine yeah, so now yes, just select the check format once open it uh, any check format here yeah. open it now scroll down so you can see here there are you can see validation right yeah yes sir there are some okay. redefined validation as well as user defined validation scroll down if you yes. user defined click on plus to here based on your requirement you can define your user defined validation like uh, whenever the payment file is going to transfer to the bank what are the validation it will uh, check the file in that file the transmission process for example the branch code should be there branch number should be there account number should be correct supplier uh, site has should have bank account you can see there are lot of validation you can select yes sir right. so if you define the validation in payment format so okay. now go to that uh, payment process profile so here go to payment process profile so what it means validation failure handling so that okay. validation which will define at payment format level it will the process will check here and what action you are going to take okay okay what it will check if the validation you have defined there during the payment format if it is failing either it will reject the payment stop the process for review reject only document with error like for example there are 100 invoice out of this 10 invoice as a validation error whether you want to process okay. the rest of 90 or complete file will be failed so like that you have to select option here validation failure handling okay reject only document with errors reject error, yeah, yeah 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 so, oh, this okay. this thing na you have to understand and create once you practice one time then you will be able to understand uh -huh. Similarly, okay. at payment method level also, we have uh, same, same kind of validation. Go to payment method. Okay. Manage payment method. So now you understand what is validation, right? Yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. These are interview questions actually. I also faced many times. Yeah, I have to attended uh, two, three interviews. So they are asking the about this only, sir, major level. Ah. Then you understand that you can answer then payment method. Yeah, yes. Manage payment method. So payment method, just select a OER payment. Just search with, search with OER. Yeah. Open it. Oh, open the fast one, no problem. Any anything you can open. Just I wanted to show you what are the uh, setups you need to check here. Okay. So here go to validation. Here also we can define some user defined validations. Same same kind of validation you can do here. Like the branch okay. code should be there. If it is USA, we need BIC number, right? If it is India, we need Swift code, Swift code. Yeah, yes. So if you are creating an international payment, we need IVAN number. This kind of validation, if you give here, then the payment process will uh, look for this. Uh, validations you have defined and if, if it is failing the validation either it will reject or stop the payment okay so when it comes to a payment document related or format related things it will yeah, okay yeah. we can have here and yeah. when it comes to payment method it is a thing of okay. yeah right right yeah so sir for this uh, this payment i didn't uh, enable any approval but it is going to a payment approval hmm. It will go for approval if there is some approval is defined for that payment or for that view. 
so i'll i'll, I'll show you the status as well sir have you created any payment process profile yes sir i tried uh, but it is failing in uh, error approval yes sir that means some approval is uh, enabled for that payment process profile okay th these are the faces i am uh, getting sir so oh, they initially are the they, it initiating uh, but it is not showing uh, the print check format what it is not showing a print check format we can able to see the formatted checks right sir that Demand program is not start, but it has format has not been started i think after so i i have invoices sir i'll i'll uh, run